Need help designing product pins for your e-commerce business? Are you looking for tips for designing multiple pins when you only have a few product photos? It's hard to be posting fresh pins on Pinterest, which is a best practice when you only have one or two product photos. So hey y'all, it's Natalie Bardo, your Pinterest coach here. And in this video, I'm gonna help you design better e-commerce pins. I'm gonna share with you 10 distinct types of product pins that you can create, as well as show you some of the pins that I was able to design for a product business, a handmade craft business that you can also use for tips for designing your own pins. So if you love Pinterest marketing tips, be sure to give this video a quick thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've got weekly content coming your way. So to get started, my number one tip for creating e-commerce pins on Pinterest is to make sure you're taking high quality images or at least having one or two mock-ups. So when you're taking your photos, whether it's you know a physical product you're creating, maybe it's a digital product, you wanna make sure that number one, that image is vertical. You wanna make sure it's at that 1000 to 1500 pixels. So when you're taking your photos, they're not square for Instagram, they're vertical for Pinterest. That means that when you're adding your products to your catalog, so whether your shop is on Shopify or Etsy, or maybe you're using a WooCommerce shop, you want to ensure that your product images are those vertical longer images. Because when we have those longer photos, it's easier for you to design multiple pins with that longer image. You don't need to you know, add a frame to it to make it longer or zoom in so tight that the image no longer works. So up first, we're talking about that product photo. You know what I mean. Typically it's that square image with your product and the background is like white, right? It's that catalog image that usually appears in the shop tab of your Pinterest profile. If you're a verified merchant and you have that set up. So I encourage you, yes, if your shop photos are square, that's fine, you don't need to go and update them, but if you're taking new product photos, try to get that larger image. And even better, when you're snapping that photo, take out your phone and film a little bit of video footage as well. Even better, if you can take some video footage of your product when you were making it, or even the process of packaging it and shipping it out. So that first type of pin, is going to be the product pin. That's your listing. That's what appears in your shop. So in addition, you also want to have images of your product in real life. These lifestyle style images where someone is living with your product, styling it, wearing it, using it, those captured moments are what's going to have somebody more likely to want to click and purchase your product. This is especially important if it's clothing or shoes, you want someone to be wearing it. So this is a great example of this bag. So this product image, the bag is just on the table versus them holding it. So you can see how the image of someone holding and using this bag to carry objects is more engaging than just seeing your product laying there on a table, right? So you want to think of, okay, how can I make my product more dynamic and style it in these lifestyle ways, showing people wearing your product, using your product. If it's a kitchen gadget, have someone smiling in the kitchen, using it. So you have an idea for that. It's lifestyle, moments in life. A brand that I love that does this really well is Little Burgundy. They're a shoe and accessory shop and they have such gorgeous photos of just models or people wearing their products. And it's more engaging to me than a blank product photo, which is product white background. So if you are using a dropship business model and you don't have that many physical products, I encourage you to use mock-ups. A program like Canva has lots more mock-ups now. They're always enhancing this feature. So get in there, create some mock-ups for your product, make it real. And of course, those can be video pins as well. So take that video footage, 
So the third type of pin you can create is once again, dominantly that image of your product being lived with, used, styled, but with minimal text. So usually you wanna have minimal text on your e-commerce pins, but call to actions like shop here, buy now, book a call, book an appointment, sign up, like whatever that call to action is, you wanna put that on your pin. Like some of these examples here, where you have your brand name. So Majority does this really amazingly with their jewelry line. You wanna make sure you have that call to action, but that shop now button isn't huge. It's just a small click letting them know that, hey, this is a product you can purchase, you can have, you can live with it, you can wear it, you can use it. So you wanna make sure that you're creating these image pins with that minimal shop now, buy now, that's gonna encourage the click. So the next type of pin is similar, except this one usually has the product name. So whether it's a ceramic vase or a wallet or whatever it is your product is, maybe it's a chair, you know, you have the product name or even just your logo of your brand. So it's just an image of the product and your logo. Another way is to have a product with a tagline. So especially if you're planning to run ads, there's so many ads like this, these product pins that are showing up for the holidays or whatever encouragement they want you to click on. So here are some examples where it's that lifestyle image, but it also has that tagline more encouraging, that cozy feeling, they want you to click, right? They want you to be living in the moment of this pin. So the next type of product pin you can design is a product in frame. So this is more of a styled pin where the majority of the real estate of the pin still goes to the product image. And this is gonna be helpful to you if you've been taking those square images and now you're worried like, oh my gosh, I can't do a thousand by 1500 or longer. So you can create a framed look if you're using something like Canva, you can also easily erase the background of all of those white background product images, and you can create something that's really fun and interactive, add some color, spice things up to create these type of product pins. Okay, the next type of product pin you can create is the product showcase. So in this type of pin, you're showing off all of your products. Maybe you're showing off the variations of one product. Maybe you're showing off your entire line, specific gifts or ideas. So this can be a video pin, like this example here, where they're showing you all the different types of products and specifically for a purpose. So think about how you can create something interactive. This is a great chance for you to become a little bit more creative. So up next is the product collage. This is where you have a pin with multiple images of your product. Maybe one is zoomed in and showing off the details. Maybe another is just from multiple angles. This is how you can even have a video and an image on a pin. So get creative, create those product collages. So if you just have two or three images of your product, you can actually just rearrange those to create multiple pins. And the next type of e-commerce pin you can create is what I like to call as the customer content. So anytime a customer purchases your product, encourage them to take a photo, send it to you or tag you in IG. You're gonna ask them if you're allowed to use it. Once again, Majuri does this amazing with all of their products. They have customers sending in images and they're sharing them on social media. But this type of customer content is invaluable to your brand. I also encourage you to create some review style pins with images of the products and what they're saying about it. Just like these examples you're seeing here, you can make use of those customer reviews. It's another type of pin that you can create. So the 10th type of e-commerce pin I encourage you to create is the how it's made or behind the scenes, even showing you packaging and shipping off their products, showing you making your products. So you're taking the customer in on that process. So just like this great example of Cricut showing off their vinyl printer, 
you can create a pin showing how you made the product that they are ordering. This type of content is engaging. And of course, you're going to put that up as a video pin, or even if it's multiple steps, you can put it up as an idea pin. So those are 10 types of e-commerce pins that you can create for your products. You don't have to just add one pin. There are so many ways to promote your beautiful products, and I encourage you to take multiple photos and even videos. So for this video, I wanted to create some real examples for you to show you how you can design multiple pins, creating templates in something like Canva. All you need to do is design, say, five or more templates. And every time you have a new product, you just update the text and update the images. And since our product pins are going to have limited text, it won't be very difficult. So let's take a look at some of the beautiful pins I designed for Vivian Sophia Designs. I reached out to her asking if I could design some pins for her products. So Vivian creates these beautiful handmade ceramic vases. And these are the three product photos that I use for these pins. So I created standard pins for her. This is 1000 by 1500. You can see we have eight different templates. I even have a video pin that was created from just one image. You can create these animations in Canva. So you can see that with just a few images, we're able to create eight distinct 1000 by 1500 pins. All you need is just a few templates. And of course, I didn't stop there. I designed some longer pins for her as well, using her brand fonts, her brand colors, and just the few images that she provided. So you can also see here that I took a video from her Instagram feed and I used it to create that behind the scenes slash how it's made Pinterest pin for her products. So when you are taking your product images, I encourage you, please turn on your camera, just shoot that footage. It can be invaluable and you can also create video pins and idea pins that are more engaging than standard pins. So here I am right inside Canva. You can see that I've uploaded some of her amazing product photos. So right here, this would be that first product image for her product listing in her catalog. And here's just that simple pin I, that I created and made into a video pin. So we can see we have all of these little animations so you can easily create a video pin, which is that minimal text and that shop now button. So we have this other version of the pin. I added in her logo. So you can see here that it's super simple. And a tool that I love for creating product pins is the background eraser. So you can see, I just click it and it removes the background. And then you can create some even more interactive designs like this one that I have using just that image removed with the background. And you can easily update these pins. So here's one product, but maybe I want to promote this one. I just drop in the image. You can change this to another one of your brand colors if you want to play around with it to create a pin that matches this new image. So just like that, she has a new product pin. Say for this one with the ceramic vases, maybe I want to make one about her little card holders. So all you do is drop in those new images and you're good to go. So the key here, you want to make sure that you have these pin templates so that all you have to do is update the images and simply update the minimal text that you've created. So I encourage you to design Pinterest pins in Canva that match your brand. All you need to do is start with that image, your simple product photo, and use the fonts and the colors of your branding to add the name of your product. Maybe you'll drop in your logo like I did. Maybe you'll add a shop here. Maybe you'll remove the background and create a watermark style pin. Maybe you'll create those framed pins like here multiple collage images. You can do all of this for free in Canva. 
So if you need help with designing Pinterest pins, I encourage you to check out my course, Next Level Pin Designs, where I share with you how to design 10 distinct styles of pins. So if you're struggling and you want to create beautiful product pins, I encourage you to click down below and join my course, Next Level Pin Designs. I've included a promo code just for you so you can start designing those beautiful e-commerce pins. So once again, my final tip and reminder reminder for you is to focus on creating those vertical images, snapping multiple pics if you can, get those lifestyle photos, ask a friend or two or family member to pretend to be using your product so you can take some images, ask your customers to send in photos, to post on Instagram and to tag you and then ask them if you can use their image, maybe even Give an incentive, maybe a coupon code if they send you a photo for a future purchase. There are so many ways for you to design beautiful e-commerce pins that are going to increase your sales. So get started. Click down below to join my Next Level Pin Design course. And of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you love this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I love being your Pinterest coach. And stick around. You're going to find this video helpful. Bye for now. See you in the next video.